If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Put in some of that loyalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? What the goddamn hell y'all leave? Drama alert. Quando don't want beef. Oh, shit. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitch. Royalty's World CEO. Quando don't want beef. He's a vegetarian, LOL. Uh, Summer and Lil Meech. Let's get into it. But... I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get. Monday. I'm not done reacting to the fits, friend. I'm waiting for more to come. Oh, she not gonna be in the shade room. Damn. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. I'll look at the neighborhood talk or something. Hey, Chris. Yes, and welcome hey. back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are a POP, and that is free on purpose. How you oh, doing? So, y'all already know. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But, y'all, it's May. It's May, and y'all know what's coming in May. I'm not going to do it. I'm not even going to. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to keep it cool. And I'm just say thank y'all for returning back to Messy Monday. Like I always say, because I got to keep reiterating it because it is so tough out here in these streets. Mm. It's tough in these streets. Y'all made it through another week. I know we missed last week. I told y'all why. I was helping Hitman with a show that he's doing. But um, a bitch is bad. You know, I ain't going to never leave y'all too long, baby. Mm. So um, we are back. Y'all made it through another week. Pat yourself on the back and always give yourself praise because, baby, we deal with a lot of bullshit, stress, and drama, and you made it through a week. So, shouts out to you. Now, before we start my Messy Monday, I want to give a shout out to my friend, and that is Tori. Hey, bitch. Tori, girl, thank you for having my post notifications on. That means so much to me. I be seeing all y'all, baby. Y'all be running through there like some roaches when they cut the lights on, baby. Y'all <laughs> gone. But, Tori, I saw you, girl, and I appreciate you for being there, being supportive, being active, and loving me, girl. And now I'm taking the time out to show you my appreciation towards you for fucking with me, friend. All right? Hey, bitch. All right, let's go on again to y'all's favorite part, and that is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying and, and some shit. shit. All right, first of the sugar honey iced tea and the docket, because it won a lot of shit. Now, I don't know why the girls ain't out here lollygagging, pulling hair, and yanking off lace fronts, but maybe it's okay. So, we got designer. Now, designer. I don't know what you've been going through, but baby, you can go through it with me. I ain't uh, uh, to you, baby. Right. Now, I heard you pulled out little Timmy Turner, and Timmy Turner can talk to me. I talk to Timmy Turner. If Timmy Turner need a beat, I beat it. If he need a little whisper, I whisper to it. Shit. If it need a little loving and affection, I can do that too. A little loving and all affection. About helping people. Okay? So, for those who don't know, Designer was on a plane. And while he was on a plane, I guess he was coming from Japan, and while he was out there, they say, you know, he did with, you know, emotional stress and whatever the case may be, woo, woo, woo. Because didn't um, Nicki Minaj say he was in special ed or something like that? Why did you feel uh, it was necessary to the special ed part? Like, what, is he, wasn't he in special ed? <laughs> No, I don't. I don't think so. Child, not looking around to see if anybody know or not. Now that he you was. said that, I thought he, he. You thought he was. I thought he wanted to dress a lot. Did you He's talk to anybody me. before you dropped this song, or it just dropped? I just dropped it. But anyway, I just I dropped designer. it. So according to TMZ, they are saying designer is being charged with indecent exposure. Now to me, that's just good exposure because I don't see that wrong. No, let me hush. 
It said that he was on Delta. I ain't never seen this on Delta every night. I'm always on Delta. That he was indulging in, you know, self-stimulation in his seat. So the flight attendant had told him to stop several times before they had moved him to the back to be monitored by two of his friends. They said as he got up what? out of his seat, a jar, <laughs> a jar of gasoline fell out his lap onto the floor. Now, I ain't never heard. My nigga, like, if you just had to do that, why the hell you ain't just go to the bathroom, y'all? Why? I mean, I, we can't go to the bathroom. I don't understand. I really don't. <laughs> I ain't never heard of the folks using Vaseline no more. I think they do it in jail. I mean, y'all. Vaseline just so sticky. Oh, and my don't fault. Get high. I don't know. I ain't never. I've always, you know, I've been the KY type of girl. I definitely wouldn't use Vaseline. You know, I just wouldn't. I just think Vaseline. I and like Vaseline just things. so hard to get off. You can it get is. Shower, shower and still, little beads of water. Girl. <laughs> 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 Vaseline just. Ah, hate Vaseline. Vaseline. Keep going. They also said that he had told them when he was getting <laughs> talked to by the police, which he was, seemed to not be impaired or anything, that he got aroused by the. <laughs> The flight attendant because he wasn't getting a lot of play back in thailand they had subscribed him some medicine but he wasn't taking it so subscribed honey, him some medicine he needed some medicine no that's just bad y'all i try not to laugh and shit because you know ain't no telling what the hell uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to make fun of it. I hope he get through whatever he going through. Because that's just it crazy. It sounds like he might have been on honey and drugs. Sorry, for real. on that plane and couldn't keep himself together, child. And boom, my little ex feel or something. He just, it just, the girl, it hit him, girl. Niggas like him need to keep a pussy pocket in a pocket to go to the bathroom for the just in case. I'm just saying it. It seemed like some of these niggas just really need it really, really bad. I don't know, but anyway, y'all, he say he gonna um, take himself. They got all the toys in the world. You could put a booty in a book bag. <laughs> these men got sex toys that they could put a booty in a book bag, y'all. <laughs> Poor us, we be going through it. <laughs> you can take a fucking... They got a booty like this. <laughs> like this big. They can take a whole booty in a book bag and beat the hell out that motherfucker in the bathroom. Okay, tell everybody you they got to wait. You got to get straight. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if you don't want to use the pocket pussy cool, get you a booty. Put like a half booty. It probably about 300 Put it in a book bag. If TSA asks why you got a booty in a book bag, tell them to mind their motherfucking business. It ain't none of their business. But y'all put that booty in the book bag and do the booty. Leave folks alone outside. Up into therapy and Damn. get himself together. I hope he does. I love designer. I think he's oh. so funny. He's so chill. Met him in person a couple of times. Jesus I ain't never got Christ. this type of energy, but I mean, if you want to re-encounter. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just really hope he gets get a gay man. Really they love person. to do it. So uh, we're going to keep y'all updated on that. Little Timmy <laughs> just wanted to play. That's all it is. Now him and Timmy is in rehab. All right. Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep keep. Next case. Next one, Doc. We got Summer Walker and Lil Beach. Now this ain't no beef, but y'all need y'all ass beef. How in the hell did y'all even see this? Y'all y'all need to be out here working for the FBI, CIA. So, Word. Mitch had took a picture right outside of a car, whatever, had his pink phone case, yada, 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 whoop, whoop, whoop. So then a girl ends up posting a picture on Twitter. She said, unpopular opinion, I'm here for their little thing they got going on. Now, child, I'm like, what the fuck we supposed to be looking at? I oh, God. I swear, I'm like, what? <laughs> First of all, I just posted my video on my second channel. Y'all make sure you check it out. I will be, uh... Giving the tea on all of your celebrities and make sure you check out Celebrity Lifestyle because we giving you the tea on the celebrities over there as well. Shout out to Twerk. But what I'm saying is how in the hell y'all take this man phone case that I'm sure they have uh, thousands of copies of 
and put it with Summer Walker and then put them together. I, when I seen it, I was like, yeah, y'all niggas is tripping. So I just kind of let it go. But man. I see a little circle. I'm like, what is it? I said, now I know you fucking mm -hmm. lying. Y'all done found the reflection of his pink. Y'all, that's crazy as fuck. I'm not even gonna lie. Of his pink phone on the dash. <laughs> now, who the fuck think to look at that? <laughs> Y'all need to go outside. Yeah, I seen the story, it's friend. Pretty outside. Go do something. It is beautiful what? outside when it's beautiful. Okay. What? Oh. Would have never in my right mind never. to look in the dashboard. Never. Say, oh, that's that ping pong he had outside. And y'all, we do social media. We nosy as hell. But not this no that's why I be trying to tell people. I ain't that nosy. And I don't care enough. I just report it. I don't care. I just like to talk about it. You get what I'm saying? Child, ain't no way in the fuck. I'm that nosy where I'ma zoom in on a nigga phone case and the damn dashboard inside of the car to put that together. I just don't understand. I don't, I don't I know, get it. Because whoever studied this picture like that, you are unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> you, and you need help. You are on the level of grandma sitting on the porch type nosy. Whoa. I ain't the one to gossip. <laughs> They probably would make a cucumber because don't they both got them rumors of being must? Mm. Oh, no. So, sit down. So, anyway, people started talking all over the internet. Whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. So, now that everybody's been watching them, Meech was on the stage with a mysterious lady in a pink mask, and everybody is thinking that was Summer because when they went back to her other picture, she was seen with the same exact hairstyle. So, child, I don't know. This is real. Now, what would make Summer go to that event with that mask on? Girl had a whole face zipped up. She said they won't know it's me, the fuck. And then Summer asked, <laughs> she gonna go and post on her story. And in the midst of it, she forgot <laughs> that she, <laughs> she was on FaceTime with Meech. So baby, this is a little bay watch. Hopefully they work. I wish them the best. I, you know, hey, her business is her business and who she date is who she date. So I guess we just gonna keep an eye on this. Summer, please let us know, was that a fake penis or a real penis <laughs> in the TV show? Because I, I need to know. All right, well, if it ain't about me, let's First of all, that penis was absolutely a dildo. I don't know why everybody don't know what a dildo look like, especially Zo. But uh, that was a dildo, y'all. That was not his meat, man. <laughs> all right. <laughs> hey. Next one, duck at. We I know what a deal though look like. Yeah, bad baby and cheap Keith. I don't know how this girl always weasels her way back into the cookout, but y'all keep letting her come in with this basket of the goods, and I'm tired of it, okay? <laughs> so we had already mentioned basket her when we were talking about tattoos <laughs> a couple of weeks back, remember? <sighs> well, child, come to find out. The woman that came on here and she told everybody, you know, her and Chief Keep had been talking for a minute. It was 20 and 27, but they were talking around the time she was 18. They knew each other, whatever the case may be. Woo, woo, woo. I don't know. If you want the whole story in the rundown, go look at it, all right? Okay. Anyway, well, this is what she said. So I have Chief Keep's birthday, his last name, his name, his nickname, and... Stupid. His, like, I have CK on my ankles, then I have his last name right here. And then I had, well, actually, I just covered his birthday okay. up here. And then I have So on my ear. And then I have Keith on my wrist. Oh, damn. Why'd you cover his birthday? Because I'm sick of it. Girl, you talking about you sick of his shit and you tired of being delusional. But y'all, was she just with this other guy and got his name tattooed? So why are you sitting here talking to us about what you doing with Chief Keith's name and cover the name and sick of his delusional? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> but you're keeping the other one. No, I'm getting them removed. Okay. I am just like tired of being delusional. So after she goes on an interview and she talks about that, one of his baby mama snuck danger. She decides to come out and post an old picture of bad baby and her. That sparks up some conversations with the people on the internet. Slim danger goes on to say, I guess because she got all them, um, bad baby got all them tattoos. 
She goes on to say, his <laughs> shit not that bomb. Trust me. But girl, when you doing some delusional shit too when you was fucking with him? And then why are you coming out the woodworks doing all this if the shit ain't that bomb? Obviously, you feel some type of way. Right. So, honey, then Bad Baby decides to go on the internet. Y'all already know she love this type of carry on chill. And she said this. This shit is mad crazy and mad disrespectful and just looks really bad on me. And I hate like that because, like, what the f is even going on? Let me make something clear today. I'm sorry. Like, I'm already in the house mad. Like, I got a headache. Like, I'm just annoyed. I've been laying in the bed all day. Like, and I'm just on the phone with my friend, like, having a regular conversation. Like, is she, like, she go on her phone. Oh, she on fucking shade room. She sends me the shit. What? I don't know that girl. I don't know her. I, and, oh, my God. Like, it looks like it was taken at Glam House. You know how many fucking is and whatever being Glam House and be asking me to take pictures with them when I don't even know them, and then my got to tell me who they is after I take the picture with them, like, because I don't know who it is, like, like, what? Like, I don't know her. It was just like, oh my god. And she, see, she had a mask on. I couldn't even see her face. Like, in today's time, I would have never took no picture with her, knowing how she be disrespecting him like that. Like, I would have never did that. Like, regardless of what the ever, like, bro, I would never, I would never, ever, ever in my life go hang out with that be talking about him can i just stop the video right here Bad please baby, did you once think y'all i'm just holding this phone while bitch because who is confused as me walking through this house hollering like <laughs> ah yeah confused hollering holding the phone ain't, ain't talking to nobody delusional still play the video or regardless of where me and him stand, whether we want to kill each other, whether we cool, I would never, ever in my life go do no like that. This is getting drug all the way out of proportion. Like, I hate shit like this. This is mad disrespectful, and it looked bad on me. Like, this is crazy. Look, like, all y'all just as confused as me. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Going around like... First of all, I, I, I'll take blame. I should have never went on Twitter in the first place and called a man a bitch. Like, all right, cool. Because now it's like, now y'all looking and nitpicking at it and trying to figure it out. So I have to tell something before stories just get made up. Like, I don't understand why everybody always get upset when bloggers are in their business, but they, they put us in their business. And then it'd be like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? I shouldn't even. Duh. Like, don't people think now before they say something like, ah, uh, before this, let me see. Probably going to get to the, I'm a chill. You know what I'm saying? Nobody thinks to do that. I understand. <laughs> I'm not going to sit and bash him. Like, only time I ever disrespected him was that little Twitter. Shit. Like, I would never disrespect him publicly. Like, like it's just like, I'm, I don't get down like that. Like, that's crazy. Like, now it just looks like, oh, this Stupid, stupid, so fucking low to go hang out with bitch that that publicly be talking about him. Like, no, bro, no. Like, what? Yeah, she's scared. She gonna lose him. <laughs> like, I'm mad. I even have to talk about this because so. so Not knowing so she never had I'm him mad. in the like, first place. I'm mad. I even have to speak on this, but it just looks bad on my part. Like, you can see, I'm looking at right now. You can see, I don't even have no tattoos on my face. Like. Face little as hell, like I was 15, 16, like bro, I did not, bro, what? This is crazy. I don't know this, like what the fuck? Like, okay, all right. Oh my God, what the fuck is going on? Ooh, so man, baby, let, me, let me stop you right there, sweetie. You don't know her, but you got this man tattooed on you six times. And you don't know his past, don't even know what she looked like, don't know Slim James, don't know nothing, but he tested on you six times? Girl. Girl, if you don't go <laughs> sit down somewhere. All I'm going to say is, child, after listening to this video, that voice was shaking. My mom was about to cry. It sounds like Sosa must have called her and got her together real bad. But uh -huh. why is you worried about that if you got that other nigga? You know, she was this close to getting her keys back. Uh-huh. She sound like, please don't go again. <laughs> and he is over. And then she said, and hollering. Ooh, I said the truth, child. I don't know. Let me get me out of the group chat. Can I, can I remove myself? How I do that? Because, oh, I don't, I don't. Ooh, 
child, Slim James, and knew what she was doing when she posted that video, baby. She really turned the tables, child. Let it have been me and the bitch my nigga was fucking with. <laughs> Posted an old picture. I would have said, oh, yeah, girl. I used to always take pictures with fans. Fuck is you talk about? Okay. Period. Anyway, well. But you run around the house acting like your world about to end. Heart beating like it's coming out your chest. Girl, sit down somewhere. <laughs> Ooh, Lord, if it ain't about me, she lost. Cheeky. Next game. Next one, okay? We got Sukiyana versus Little Mama. Now, if y'all don't remember, a few weeks back, Sukiyana made a comment towards Little Mama because Little Mama had said something to her. Now, she was referring to when Sukiyana was on her knees with her friend and Emily Chopper was walking him like a dog. And, you know, Little Mama, she was just, you know, just wasn't feeling it. And she had the right to her own opinion. But Sukiyana turned back around, baby, and let her have it. She was like, girl, I heard that girls in that little lollipop song, lip gloss, or whatever, had something to say. Whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. Then she said some nothing. She said some nothing. Then we just said some nothing. What's up, babe? Look in your man phone. Hey. So, chef, I guess they talk, girl, and they sell it up like some women because, you know, Sukiyana said she's tired of being ghetto. Like, she don't want to be ghetto on her. So, she <laughs> went to an interview and she said this. Little Mama is actually a good person. She is. Yeah. She's not a bad yeah. person at all. No, no, no. Little Mama went back up under the <laughs> comments. She said, so, Little Mama is actually a good person. She's not a bad person at all. Yeah, I love you with a heart and all that good stuff. So, I guess the ladies squash their beef or whatever case they be, which is yeah. really good because I don't like to see all these black women fussing over nothing that's not really worth Me fussing over. Okay. So, child, they let that go, and it is what it is, and hey, that's how you can stuff sometimes. So, if it ain't about me, I'm glad little mama made up with Suki. Next case. Next one, okay, we got Kwando Rondo. Well, welcome back, Kwando. We ain't seen you in a while. I guess, you know, you've been on a hiatus with your little girlfriend. I know, whatever case may be, but he came back, and he had something to say. He went on his Instagram. And he said, we don't have smoke with anybody that beef job is dead. It's too much ratting going on, me and the gang getting money. We are in our own lane. And I was just like, well, child, I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you just say shit over with and it's over with. Y'all done did a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot. Niggas done did a whole because goddamn school of shit talking about, yeah, that beef shit over with you. And yo mind, nigga. Shit. Say that nigga he can't wait to catch you at a gas station somewhere. Was done with um the 60 or something. What was it? What was his group? The gang? He said he was done for a minute, right? But then he went back when all that stuff was going on. And now he said he done with it. Don't get me lying. And he said he Child Kondo, he don't wanna die, y'all. That boy don't wanna die. I don't blame him. That last death took his ass apart. He was fucked up, which I would be too. But I'm a civilian. That nigga out there in the field and shit. Like, you know, I'd I be all, I'd tow up. I would be tow up. The girl too, but he went back like, what, five times? Don't get me like, I don't know, but <laughs> he said he done, he um. done. I just want him to know the beat that he talking about. <laughs> Ain't got no expiration like the one in the refrigerator. The word on the curb is, <laughs> what Dirk say? You didn't know what time I said or something. Yeah. Y'all know how they on that um no violence movement. Shouts out to my boy uh, NBA Young Boy, and maybe he's following in his uh brother footsteps, and you know just keeping it cool. The violence is lame. Ooh, the hell these black men talk about violence. I hate it. over it. I caught the shade, but I'm just saying. If it ain't about me, let's stop the beat. <laughs> Did that right? Uh, next K. Next one, Doc. Okay? We got Brian McKnight. Now, Brian McKnight, you ought to be ashamed of your damn self. He I don't trifling. know what goes on behind the closed doors with the family, whatever the case may be. But he real trifling. Still, you ought to be ashamed of your damn self. This man has what, like four kids or a uh -huh, junior? Uh -huh. The daughter. Mm-hmm. To my request, I think three or four kids already by his previous, you know, baby mom, whatever the case may be. And whatever happened, happened. I don't know if the mama done told the kids that the daddy did this and they turned on him, whatever. I don't know. But for some reason, this man is not claiming his children. He, he don't turned his on bio, all his, his children. They're his new children that aren't even his biological children. They are his stepchildren. 
got <laughs> another child, named that child Brian McKnight, but he already got a Brian McKnight Jr. Oh. Done told this girl that's not even his real daughter. Happy birthday to the daughter that I've never had and always want. Damn! Bitch, you got me fucked up. Let me read some of this stuff. Today we celebrate you, Jules, on your birthday. Your mom and I couldn't be prouder of you. And I couldn't ask for a better daughter than you. Ugh. Sir, you got a daughter named Bree, and your name is Brock. Brianna, child. I know you fucking lying. Happy <laughs> birthday to the best daughter ever. Love you, Azealia. And she love your money. Ugh. Them cheering was with you when you was broke. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Word. Them cheers came out your ball sack. What fuck is you doing? Nigga, I, I almost choked the shit out of you. Uh, uh, I don't know what shit. them cheers did. I don't even fuck that. Even if the mama was trying to keep the children out your life and made them turn against you, when they got older, I would have been like, look, can we sit down and talk? Uh, and, and, and... Yeah. But I don't fucking know. But I would never disown my children. Okay. And, and like that. I, I, they're just not there. Maybe I need to go into the uh, rabbit hole and see what they did to this man or what made it get to the point to where he took his own children out of his bio. He did. And put children that don't even have his blood in it. Then his kids came out and they wrote these long messages. I'm not gonna read it all right here, but I'll let y'all pause it. Y'all can read it, y'all can go to y'all can read it. They were basically sharing their feelings like, the man abandoned them, just stopped talking, and the daughter was like, I just wanted a father, I had to get raised by my brothers. Every year, I sit here waiting on a phone call for a happy birthday, oh he never my gave it. God. And it's just like, what? And the complex of taking care of other people's children instead of your own is fucked up. Children do that bad mm. that made you disown them like this. I don't like, I don't know, did you and the mama fall out? It, it's just crazy. Crazy because the kids. Even are if you and the mama fell out, what they got to do? What we we uh, wanted you, we loved you. That's true. I don't even see them asking for money. I like you know how like the last one we, we discussed. They wanted money. This put me through college. It's like they're just saying they just wanted him there, or they just want to be acknowledged. And to me, that is when I feel the kids really are hurting, and it's not about the money. It's just about dad. Why weren't you there? Okay, so I am back. Y'all know me. I have to really go and get both sides of a story. So I just had to go dig, 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 dig. Y'all. <sighs> so, Brian McKnight, he said he wanted to give his children the life that he had never had. And he said he did that. And he made his kids feel entitled. You know what I'm saying? He said that's the only thing he regrets because it's, it is true. When you let a child feel entitled and this is how they're supposed to be and live, when they get older, it's like they feel like everything's supposed to be handed to them. Who knows me knows over the last 20 years, 30 years now as a matter of fact, that I've been there for my children every step of the way until recently. And let's be clear, my two sons are 30 and 27. Not 12, not 13, but 30. And 27. Now, my daughter's about to turn 18. That's another story I'll get to in a second. Uh, I've never missed a day of child support. I've never done anything adverse to my children whatsoever. I've always been there. I've always been there with advice, whether they took it or not. I've always been the sounding board, and I've always been the one that tried to, to help them achieve whatever dreams they were wanting to reach out for. Um, I guess one of my only faults is that I gave my children everything that I didn't have in the hopes that they would appreciate it because I know how much I would have appreciated it when I was there. Yeah, he talked like he's singing. <laughs> but <laughs> um, really talk like he's singing. I you as parents out there, <laughs> entitling your children is probably one of the worst things you can do, and I know I am guilty of that. Um, for whatever reasons, I am guilty of that. Um, tough love is a tough thing as a parent <laughs> to try to institute to your children because... You want to help them as much as you can, and I did as much as I possibly could. When I stopped doing that for them, BJ was 25 and Nico was 22. And it wasn't like I completely cut them off at that point. That, that happened much later. But 
I've been there. Um, when I put them out of my house, I gave them an apartment for two years. And I said, guys, Nigga. this is it. This is the time to grow up. I'm giving you two years. I'm going to pay for everything for two years. But you're going to have to work or do something because at the end of those two years, that's going to be it. It's time to be men here, guys. Ah, come on now. He got y'all an apartment and y'all played yourself? And granted, he should have showed them how to get some money then. And if they wasn't trying to take that information, no, that's on there. It's time to grow up. At the end of those two years, they hadn't done any of it. Um, it was just right around the time that Leilani and I had gotten together. Leilani was working at Children's Hospital. And let's be clear, Leilani has been one of the only people who's been an advocate to keeping us together, to keeping us having a relationship because she wants to have the nuclear family as much as I did. And they have spit in her face at every turn. She got them jobs at the hospital, $18 an hour with benefits and with the option of the hospital actually paying for them to go back to school. They said, and I quote, that they knew they didn't, they didn't want to stop smoking and they would have to pass a drug test. Lord. And the day I had the doctors looking into it, and he goes on there, you know, taking a big puff, of, which is fine. If you want to smoke, that's fine. I'm not saying that I'm saying that that's bad. If that's your choice, that's your choice. But what I'm telling you is that we have been advocates for them every step of the Well, Mr. Brian McKnight, you know damn well them children ain't going to want to work in no goddamn hospital. Like, I, respectfully, y'all. When you are Brian McKnight, and granted, you may they may not sing. That's 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 the thing. Michael Jordan's sons suck. We just knew Michael Jordan's sons was gonna be good at basketball. But LeBron James' sons are good at basketball. You see how it skipped generations and shit. My point is, they could have learned an instrument. They could have learned how to write music. Might already know how to write music. You know what I'm saying? Just anything. Um. And I just feel as though he should have worked on that well before 22 and 25. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you supposed to, like, show them the way. Uh, I'm over here trying to find shit for these children at 14 and 12. I'm like, shit, we can make sure we get them a little, you know what I'm saying, have them a little something. They can sell at school or whatever just to, you know what I'm saying, get some income coming in so they can appreciate some damn money because, that's true. Children don't appreciate money if they don't know what money is. You know what I'm saying? And obviously they don't know what money is as adults. The way now let's go to the part where we have been estranged again. We talk about abandoning them. We're not, it's, I'm not abandoning them. We are estranged, which happens more often than not in this particular situation. BJ broke into our home a few months ago. What? I was just about to say. I wonder how them damn kids broke into his house or some weirdo shit. He put X's on the eyes of our wedding photos. And then he put a photo of my first wedding on Leilani's vanity. It was at that moment. And after I heard him say, and was pointed to from other friends of mine that saw his posts on social media, that he, he basically said that I was better off dead to him Ooh. than alive. I was more valuable to him dead than alive. And, and that's for money. More valuable to him dead than alive. That's for money. Oh, I would have cut them motherfuckers off. And that was the end of me dealing with him. Absolutely. If you look at my Instagram, you'll see that not my last video, but the video before that, 42, the song was written by Brian and I, and it was directed, the video, by Nico. And I went on and I said how proud I was of Nico at the time, and I really, really was. He did an awesome job in that video. So he did try and show them the way of writing and producing okay um even before that two, less than two years ago these other two gentlemen who stood up for me as my best man in my wedding so abandonment deadbeat dad i like i'll reiterate i've never missed a day of child support i've been there every step of the way bj he, he talks about jack's new car jack bj had three brand new cars before he was 22 but i'm not talking about material things because none of this has anything to do with money it's about respect Respect goes both ways. And even in family, there's a line that shouldn't and should not ever be crossed. Facts. Uh, you breaking my shit. Boy, you're lucky you ain't catch a hot one. And you my son. It, it's crazy to me that people will just believe anything. And I thought it was important to set the record straight and let you guys know that abandonment has nothing to do with any of this. Deadbeat dad, I've been there every step of the way. And let's also remember that these kids are 30 and 27, not 12. It's time for grown men to be grown sure. men. 
And I'm sorry that tough love happens to, to be this way. Um, I would never trust you again. You you take a fucking $20 bill off my motherfucking dress. You, if I had a $20 bill right here and we in the house and I'm in the house with four people, I expect my motherfucking $20 bill to be right here. Okay? You take that $20 bill, I'll never trust you again. And it's, I do wish them the best. I want them to have and to reach their dreams and their full potential. But I don't think he like got to his daughter any other yet. man in the world, you, you got to go out there and you got to take it. Um, as far as my daughter is concerned, um, you know, her mother, if you look back at my Instagram, she was a part of this family too, with Jack and Julie and Leilani and myself. And unfortunately, along the way, a couple of years ago, I got wind that there was an older cousin who was above 18, who was quite possibly having sex with her. So I called, as a father should, to the, the state office for, for children's affairs there in Arizona, and I had never heard anything back, but the next thing that her mother did was to block all of us from her social media, from her phone, and completely estranged her from us. So what that told me was they didn't want me to be involved in her life that way. So to see the post that she said, considering that her mother only had a child with me for money in the first place, and I'll reiterate this, I have not missed a child support payment. She goes to one of the most incredible private schools in Arizona. Um, so yeah. I don't know where this is all coming from, but I thought that I needed to let everybody know that there's another side to this story. Um, you can choose to believe what you want. Child, I believe I, you. I, I thought that I would lay it out there for you. <laughs> he too well spoken for me. I feel like he's singing. <laughs> Things that I say is actual and factual. All you have to do is Google Brian McKnight and Sons, and you'll see us singing all over YouTube. Mm. Um, go back and look. At I Instagram. remember them singing together. I do remember it. I posted. I do about all of my children. I do remember um, that. But remember that these kids, these boys, are they're grown men, and tough love is exactly what it is. It's tough love. So thanks everybody. Thanks for listening, and I hope that that gives you a little bit more perspective. This Period. Is that I will pay everything for you for two years. So in those two years, all you had to do was find some type of hobby, some type of niche, some type of something. But I just think... I just want to say something before he say something. I feel as though that they got a certain amount of money with that. You know, you're not getting pennies when you do shit like that, especially not over time. And um, maybe they got a big check. You know, I've, I've worked with people who got a, a certain amount of money either from me or working with me. And girl, you would think it was a million dollars. And niggas will really quit what they doing for that check. And it's like, uh, see, me making, you know, if I'm making a good amount of money this month, I got to double that next month. Because I already got a taste of that. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, everybody don't think like me. Like, nigga, money go. It come and it go. So I'm um, people crazy. Thank God my mom still does for me. Now, she ain't doing everything, but, you know, she ain't paying my bills, you know, two years when I got out. She said, hey, go, you want to move out? You do it on your own. Okay. This is you. I'm telling you, you can stay here. It's just like, yeah, your daddy did work hard for y'all to have a good life. Yeah, he gave you money, but now what are you going to do? You can't just live off. It's just like he's helping you, but don't try to just live off him because now... What is your purpose? Your purpose right. isn't to just live off your family. It's for y'all to just keep building. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, That's terrible. It's just a sad situation. Yeah, that's so terrible. it's making me feel like because now dad cut you off or took away some of your assets. He already had a bad taste in his mouth. Uh, Ash. He already had a bad taste in his mouth from his son. So blocked her blocked him from all the social media and shit it's like oh i bet like fool me one time shame on you type shit you know what i'm saying he wasn't about to get fooled again so i think he just cut them all off i don't think he's wrong for that you're supposed to do this for me and da, 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 but he was, he's you're about to be 30 or 25 what are you trying to do for you i don't know this is a whole lot a whole lot because man the way I don't care the way he didn't claim them children. It rolled me the wrong way, child. I don't give a damn if my kids did this and that. It hurt me, but I'm just not going to act like my kids ain't alive. You know? Well, I ain't going to lie. What I wouldn't have done was change my bio. 
He did that intentionally. It could be more behind the scenes, but still. Y'all can go on a rabbit hole, look it up yourself too, honey, but I don't know. It is what it is. Where? It ain't about me. Let's keep keeping this case. All right, y'all. Look, I know, I know. That's all I got for money. They're not really, people ain't out here getting messy. It's about to get hot, though. And when it get hot, Definitely about to get hot. oh baby, it's gonna turn up. That's a fact. So y'all, um, thank y'all for returning to Miss Monday. Like I always say, send a miss to my Twitter. I see it easier and faster there. If you get any links, send them to my Twitter DMs. Instagram, baby, that's going all day. But if you go to my Twitter, it's most likely I'm going to see it there easier. Um, But when the girls get outside, oh baby, it's gonna be up and stuff. All right, you guys, thank y'all for returning to Miss Monday. Like I always say, God on the make. All right, y'all, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, do you think Brian McKnight is wrong after he explained that? Because mm -mm. at some point, you know, a child b turns into an adult. Got to let adults do what adults do. You know what I'm saying? But all right, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah.